everyone, my name is Miss Shelley, and today we are engineering paper airplanes. All right, so the first airplane that we're gonna make is the glider airplane. So we're gonna start by taking a regular sheet of paper, and then we're gonna give it a hot dog fold, which is what I call it when the long ends match up. We wanna make sure that our corners are very um, precisely aligned, if possible. And then we can hold our paper down and give it a really good crease. So then we're gonna open our paper back up and then fold the short side down so that we have about an inch wide fold at the top. And again, we wanna make sure that our edges are aligned. And now that we've got this center fold right here, we can make sure that it aligns with the, one going, the crease going down the whole paper. Okay. So then we're going to take it again and roll it one more time. One more time was a lot. We're doing it again. And again. have creased each time and I'm just gonna run my fingernail along the edges just to make sure that it's got a really solid good crease there all right and then we're gonna refold the center point also known as the axis of our plane we just want to make sure we're not gonna lose it All right, so now that we've got our plane laid out like this, then we're gonna give it about an inch right here. And we're gonna fold it in. And we can still see our crease right here. And we just wanna think about an inch from that crease. And we're gonna unfold it. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. All right, so now that we've got our paper folded um, like this, and we've got our creases here and our center crease, we're gonna take our center crease and fold it down like that. We're gonna make sure everything aligns really good and if we need to give it another good crease then we can. And these sides look about even now. Now we're gonna take a little tiny paper clip, just a small one, and we're gonna put it on the edge here. And that just gives it a little bit of weight. And then we want to make sure that our glider is going to actually glide. So we're just going to take our fingers and just kind of give it a little bit of a fold up here in the wings. All right, and now our glider is good to go. All right, so now we're going to do the paper airplane that holds the world record for distance uh, created by John Collins. So we're gonna take the short side of the paper and then we're gonna fold um, the top corner down. And we wanna make a nice good crease. And the secret to a good paper airplane is symmetry. And symmetry just means equal on, all, on both sides. So that's our first fold. Then we're going to unfold it and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to fold that again. Good tight crease. Then we're going to unfold it. Now we're going to take our top corner again, but this time we're just going to go in to the other crease. We're going to leave that there while we do that to this side. And you can see that this crease here aligns with this crease while we do that. All 
All right, so we folded our top flap over to where the diagonal crease here on top meets this lower diagonal crease. And the same thing on this side. This top diagonal crease meets this diagonal crease. Okay, so now we're gonna take where that crease is to this corner is gonna fold over. And then we're gonna crease that down. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side as well. And then we're gonna fold a nice crease in there. And there. And then we're gonna pull our flap up over like this. And then we're gonna fold our plane in half. So I'm gonna flip it over and fold it this way. So I'm checking to make sure that my points are aligned right there before I pull everything else down and give it another good crease. All right, so now we've got our paper airplane shaped like this and we want to give it wings that will allow it to fly. So we're actually gonna just take this uh, corner here and start to pull it down. And if you only pull it down from the nose, to where we have this corner here, it's not going to be as effective. So we actually want to keep going until it's just over this little corner right here. So we're going to pull that back just a little bit more and cover that corner and make sure that our nose is pressed in good. Okay. And now you can see that that corner is covered, which is exactly what we want. Okay. So now we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we want to squeeze all of our corners together really good. Everything's pretty well aligned here. We want the good strong creases. And now we can hold our airplane and lift our wings out. Okay. You can see we have a pretty strong paper airplane here. Um, at this point it's not going to go a really long way. So we want to make sure to lift the wings up. We've got a nice little V shape here. And then we don't want the wind to just glide right past it. We want it to catch a little bit uh, so that it hits back here and causes the nose to lift up a little bit. And now we've made the world record distance flying paper airplane. So if your airplane is not flying, as far as you would like it to, then try to work with it a little bit. Let's make sure that we have the upward angle of our wings and that we've given them this nice curve in the back. We also want to make sure that we're throwing them gently instead of really hard and forcefully because uh, then they just don't do as well. With also when we throw, we want to make sure that we're either tilting it up or making sure that we're going straight. If we tilt down, the plane's going to go down. If you make a paper airplane, we'd love to see your video. So just share it with us on our Facebook page. For our next video, we took suggestions from the public about what we wanted to do. So I've got my cup of suggestions here, and so I'm gonna shake it up and pull one out. This one says, how can we make storytelling fun? So you'll see that on the next video. If you have a suggestion for something you'd like to see, then write it in below the video. Thank you.